Definitely the potential for some of these thunderstorms. Multiple rounds, by the way, we've got fog this morning in place. You can see it right there. We've got thunderstorms already on the radar. It is not severe right now, but that doesn't mean that that can't happen basically at any minute today. We have a ton of low level moisture. The mechanics are definitely in the atmosphere for that to happen. OK, so we want to help keep you safe, particularly with a lot of people going back to school and work today. A lot of other people that aren't from here that are maybe going back home today. I know my in-laws included. Be aware of this right here for the morning commute, especially. It is very foggy some locations, including here in Bell County. Um, a few hours ago when I left my house, I, it didn't really slow me down, but right now it has kind of intensified. It's thicker. OK, so especially in hilly areas that you know really well, um, particularly I would say over the next two hours or so dealing with fog. It is very, very warm as well. We never dip below 70 degrees here in Tibble in the overnight hours. You can see this is basically the fog tracker. This is visibility, how far you can see in front of you out on the roadways. You can see Highway 36. There's some hilly areas between Hamilton and Comanche that I know well. Likely that is where the fog is embedded early this morning, but even in Temple, and we just showed you in Troy as well. So really across the whole viewing area that low level moisture and humidity is in place. Patchy fog and ongoing rain in some locations. I zoomed out on purpose because a lot of people are traveling. If you're headed off towards western Texas, severe weather out there. The eastern half of the state rain on and off, but look at all those lightning bolts. You guys so much lightning, a lot of thunder as it approaches your area. You are absolutely going to hear it. You could see if you're headed on Highway 36 as well as Highway 6, even to our southeast. You can see Cameron as well as Franklin right now. This is not severe again, but has intensified over the past few minutes. You can see also towards I-45. I want to mention Grossbeck and the surrounding areas in particular because I was just reading that they have registered receiving over two, three inches upwards of three inches of rain in the past 24 hours. And look what it's doing right now. So I definitely think there's going to be running water on some of our roadways, particularly our northeastern counties. You can see that cell right there traveling at about 20, 30 miles an hour from southwest to northeast. But I want to focus on this right here as well. Look at all of those lightning bolts right there. Ton of lightning. None of this severe at the moment. Also off towards Rockdale and Cameron. So again, a lot of this right now, the heavier rounds of thunderstorms are east of I-35, but even the I-35 corridor, you're hearing rumbles of thunder. It's lighter rainfall for the time being. All of us under a level three risk to see these thunderstorms off and on like a light switch throughout the day all the way through tonight. By the way, it's not going to stop this morning to become potentially severe. All modes of severe weather are going to be possible all the way through tonight. So I'm going to kind of go through the day today. You can see mid morning again around lunch again early afternoon, multiple rounds and then the threat slowly becomes more of a water on the roadways threat versus the other modes of severe weather. And you can see as we head on into tonight, a couple of isolated cells still on the radar moving generally from west to east, but really could include anywhere across our viewing area. Now tomorrow morning, definitely our eastern counties have already received multiple rounds and you can see another round projected in the overnight hours. It finally clears out by tomorrow afternoon replaced with sunny weather, sunny and 75 by Thursday, by the way. Again, if you're just tuning in, please stay aware of the weather today. We want to help keep you safe. We are under that level three risk. All modes of severe weather are possible, including winds, hail over a quarter in diameter. And yes, we could see a couple of tornadoes across the viewing area. That biggest threat is in our eastern counties. Some models pulling in a couple of inches on top of what we've already gotten. This is a second model that's a little more conservative, and it is still pulling in well over an inch of rain across much of the viewing area. But look at this seven day forecast. I'm focused on this weekend, you guys.